Hey, it's Mr. Shrum, and today I'm going to walk through Oklahoma's Promise and describe what it is, how can you use it, who's eligible, and all that good stuff today. What is Oklahoma's Promise? Oklahoma's Promise is a college tuition scholarship, uh, and you can apply for it during your 8th, ninth, or 10th grade school year. This is our last year, 10th grade is the last year you can apply for Oklahoma's Promise. It was created in the early 90s by the Oklahoma legislature uh, designated as the Oklahoma Higher Learning Access Program. And its main purpose was to give access to families um, and their children to higher learning that they otherwise may not be able to afford, right? The program is administered by the Oklahoma State Regents for Higher Education. So what are the application requirements? How can you enroll in the Oklahoma's Promise program? Well, students must be an Oklahoma resident enrolled in eighth, ninth, or 10th grade in an Oklahoma high school um, and a student whose parents or guardians earn $55,000 or less per year. And there's a little asterisk there. In addition, the federal adjusted gross income or the AGI of the student's parents or the income of students uh, if they're financially independent of their parents may not exceed $100,000 at the time the student begins college and prior to receiving the scholarship. Beginning in 2018 to 2019 academic year, this income limit will be applied each year the student is enrolled in post-secondary education. And we'll go over a bit of that later today too. There are, there are also special income provisions, which is like little exceptions applied to uh, adopted children and children in the custody of court-appointed legal guardians, families receiving social security disability and death benefits. Um, and for that, additional documentation may be required. So you may need to contact the Oklahoma's Promise Office for more information about that. Applications must be completed during the school year in the student's eighth, ninth, or 10th grade year and witnessed by the student's parents, custodial parents, or legal guardians who also agree to help the student comply with Oklahoma's promise requirements. Okay, and the deadline for this year is June 30th, June 30th. What are some of the benefits? Well, if you meet the requirements for the program, Oklahoma's Promise will pay his, her, their uh, tuition at an Oklahoma public two-year college or four-year university. And it can also cover at least a portion of tuition at an Oklahoma accredited private college or university or for certain programs that meet the requirements to be eligible for federal student financial aid offered at Oklahoma Public Technology Centers. The scholarship amount, however, does not cover items like fees, books, supplies, or room and board, but I encourage you to talk to the institutions that you want to attend. Some of them may offer additional resources or aid to Oklahoma's Promise students. So please check with them and see if they can give you additional funds to help you through your college career as well. Here are the student requirements. The first one, we talked about the income requirement. Once you apply at the time of application, your Income cannot exceed $55,000 at the time of enrollment. 
And then each year after you start college, you will fill out this FAFSA. For each year of college, Oklahoma's Promise students will be required to complete a FAFSA. And that is a free application for federal student aid. This will be used to determine whether the federal adjusted gross income exceeds $100,000. For any year that the income exceeds $100,000, the student will not be eligible to receive the program benefit. So to make that easier to understand, at the time you apply, family income cannot be more than $55,000 at the time of enrollment. And then once you're starting college, you will fill out the FAFSA each year. Oklahoma's Promise will look at the FAFSA and make sure your uh, adjusted gross income is not more than $100,000. If it's more than $100,000, you do not get the tuition help from Oklahoma's Promise for that year, okay? Hopefully that made it a little more clear. So that was the financial requirement. There's academic requirements as well. Take 17 units of required high school courses to help get ready for college. We'll look at that on the next slide. Um, there's a worksheet here that can help you record your grades and make sure you have taken the right courses. A lot of high school uh, students will qualify for this Oklahoma Promise because the units carry over from high school requirements to college readiness pretty, pretty much. And there's a GPA requirement, a cumulative 2.5 GPA requirement for all courses in grades 9 through 12. And make a cumulative 2.5 GPA or better in the 17 unit Oklahoma Promise core curriculum. And they say, you know, general good advice like, don't skip school, do your homework, uh, drug and alcohol abuse, don't commit crime. Uh, that's generally not good for your schoolwork and your <laughs> permanent record. So meet with the teacher, counselor, or principal to go over your schoolwork and records. They will tell you um, the best way to approach these types of scholarships and programs and how to apply for other financial aid during your senior year of high school. Oklahoma's Promise is different in that regard. This is the earliest scholarship most people um, fill out in high school. You can fill this out in eighth grade, ninth grade, or 10th grade. And the other types of financial aid you will not apply for until your, like your senior year of high school, um, if you plan to go to college pretty soon. Uh, take part in Oklahoma's Promise activities that will prepare you for college. The student must be a U.S. citizen or lawfully present in the United States at the time they enroll in college in order to receive the scholarship. And those notes at the bottom, special income provisions for adopted children, or families receiving social security disability and death benefits, that will come up later too. And then the other point is for homeschool students and we will not worry about that right now. And here are the required high school courses. So students must take the following high school courses to meet Oklahoma's Promise program requirements and there's that curriculum worksheet in Excel, and that can help you keep track of the classes you're taking, the grades you're making, and to make sure you're on track for Oklahoma's Promise, which I believe most of you are. But 17 total units, four are in English, three is a lab science, like biology, chemistry, or physics, three units of math, three units of history and citizenship skills. That is one unit of American history 
and two additional units from either another subject of history, economics, geography, government, non-Western culture. Two units of foreign or non-English language. So two years of the same language or a two units of computer technology. That can be computer programming, hardware and business computer applications like uh, databases, spreadsheets, graphics. Um, you cannot do one or the other. So you need two units in a foreign language or two units in a computer technology programming type of class. So depending on what you wanna do, you may consider which one you think is more useful. I think you should do both if you can and want to. Uh, both can help you a lot. And then there's also one unit of uh, subject above. So you can do two years of a foreign language and then one unit of computer technology, or you can do two units of a computer technology and then one year of a foreign language. And that will count towards this additional unit of subjects. So I encourage you all to study as much as possible and it will help you out in the future. One unit of fine arts is also required, a music, art, drama, or speech. And that all adds up to 17 units. And to get a more detailed look at what counts towards the curriculum, you can go to that, uh, this link. And it gets down into the very specific uh, courses and the requirements according to Oklahoma academic standards for each grade. And then once you're in the Oklahoma Promise um, system, there are conditions for you to keep the scholarship in college. The first one deals with what we talked about before, income. As long as your family is not making more than $100,000 each year while you're in college, then Oklahoma's Promise still applies to you. Two, the student must be a resident of Oklahoma. The student must be a United States citizen or lawfully present in the United States at the time they enroll in college. The student must meet regular admission standards for first time entering students at the college or university to which he or she applies. Before tuition payment is made, the student must actually be enrolled in post-secondary education. The Oklahoma Promise Award will not pay for remedial courses for which the student does not earn college academic credit. So if you go to college and take courses that are meant to fill in the gaps of high school, that is not going to be covered by Oklahoma's Promise according to this condition. The student has three years from the time of high school graduation to start taking post-secondary courses. So if you graduate in May 2023, you have three years to start taking college courses. So May 2023 is graduation time. You can start college that fall in uh, August 2023, September 2023, or you can wait th up to three years after May 2023 to start taking post-secondary education classes. So if you wanted to work for a few years and save money and then go to college, that is doable as well. And then once you start taking post-secondary classes, you have five years to finish that degree program. And that ties into the next condition. The student has uh, three years to start taking post-secondary courses and the student may receive awards for no more than five years after enrolling in post-secondary education. 
And those two have little stars by them, asterisks. And that can be um, accepted for students in active military duty. So if students decide to uh, enlist in the military for some amount of time, they will be more flexible on the time allowed for you to complete the programs. Awards cannot be used for courses taken after completion of a bachelor's degree. Oklahoma Promise students graduating high school in 2018 and thereafter may not receive total award payments for more than 129 semester credit hours during the five years of scholarship eligibility unless the program for the degree requires more hours than that. The student must meet the eligibility requirements to receive federal financial aid based on the college's Satisfactory Academic Progress or SAP policy. Any Oklahoma's Promise student suspended from a college for more than one semester for conduct reasons will lose the scholarship permanently. So don't do anything crazy in college and you should be fine. Um, but the most important thing to pay attention here is this income uh, condition and the amount of time you can wait to start taking college classes. Three years from graduation, you can start taking college classes. And then once you start taking college classes, you have five years to finish that degree program with Oklahoma Promise uh, benefits. So start planning now for your future and affordable college education is available and Oklahoma's Promise is ready to help. So this is a great opportunity for a lot of people out there that are not uh, readily able to just spend money on college right now. And this will allow you to not take out as many loans, right? So I think this is a really good opportunity. If you are interested in applying now, click this apply now button, create an account. Um, it has more application information here. Here is a way to contact Oklahoma Promise and I will put that information in the um, announcement too. And this gives you instructions more. Um, da, 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 da. Here, I'll copy and paste that. Apply now, continue application. I think doing the online application is the easiest for you all. And then that means email will be the main way you communicate with Oklahoma's promise. And then click that apply now button, um, sign in or create an account, and then you'll be able to sign in after that. But I hope that helped you all uh, learn more about Oklahoma's Promise. And if you have any questions, be sure to ask me in Canvas and I will help you out as much as I can because I want you all to be successful students and I want the best for you guys. So let me know if I can help you out. But that's it for today in advisory. And I will see you all next time. All right. Bye-bye.